The SVG polyline element is used to draw multiple lines after each other. And if you look here in the editor on the left, you can see that I have a polyline um, element here inside my SVG file. Uh, the polyline element has a point attribute. And inside of the points attribute, I can list a set of points between which the polyline element will draw lines. You, see, you can see in this example, I have listed three points. The first one at 100 by 100. And the second one is at x, x equals 200 and y equals 100. And the last one is at 150 by 150. And if you look here in the browser on the right, you can see that this is the resulting lines that are being drawn here. First, a line from 100.100 here to 200.100, and then a point from 200.100 and down to 150.150. If you want to draw a line from the last point back to the starting point of the polyline, then you have to insert the first line into the uh, the first point into the point list. You can see I've done that here and now you can see this is how it looks when rendered in the browser. I can change the um, the width of the stroke of the lines drawn using the uh, stroke width style attribute and I set it to 5 and look how that looks in the browser. Now look that up here where the um, two lines are meeting each other, the first point and the last point, the lines are not completely joining. And that is uh, because the polyline is not intended to perfectly close the shape. If you want the shape to be drawn and closed, meaning there's a, automatically a perfect line from the last point to the first point, use the polygon element instead, instead of the polyline. But I will continue here with uh, showing you that I can make um, the line dashed, the stroke dashed, using the stroke dash array. I make a dash of 10 and a space of 5. And you can see how that looks. And if I want more space between the dashes, I can just increase the space. It is also possible to fill a polyline element. Um, here I will choose a brighter red color. And you can see how that looks over here. And just like I can, um, and just like I can fill a polyline, I can of course make the fill transparent using the uh, fill opacity style attribute, the fill opacity style attribute, like this. Uh, like. 5 and now I have to move it just a little bit here. Let's move it down a little bit to this. I moved the second polyline down a little bit to 120, 220, and this will then be 70, like that. Now you will see two polyline shapes on top of each other, and one is transparent, so you can see the first one through the second one. And that's really all there is to um, the polyline element.